What's up guys and how are you doing? My name is Just Jarek and this is my new series called the 5 minute Photoshop tutorials. In this series I will be telling you how to do things with Photoshop and are mostly car related. Of course you can use all these techniques also in other Photoshop projects that you are working on. The first tutorial is about how to lower your car. So I hope you enjoy and like this video. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. And But first wait and watch this video and yeah, whatever. <laughs> so as you can see I already started a photoshop for this first 5 minute photoshop tutorial where we will be lowering a car. So it can be your own car, it can be a car from the web, so uh, it's up to you what you, what you want to edit. Uh, so the first step will be loading the car into photoshop. I normally just do this by drag and drop the image into Photoshop like this. Uh, you can also do this differently by going to file on the left top and click open and you have to select the folder where the image is located. So there are multiple ways to actually lower the car but today I'm only going to teach you how to do with the pen tool. You can find the pen tool on the left side, it says pen tool. And um, yeah, so we start here at the lowest point of the car and we'll make it a lot easier. And uh, we're just gonna make a line outside of the canvas and then come back here at the end, doing the arches, side skirts, and back to the start point. So let's click here first. Zoom in by holding Alt and scroll. That's how it works on Windows. Um, I expect it's almost the same as on Apple. Uh, so yeah. And you can hold the spacebar when you are zoomed in the spacebar to move the image around. So let's get started. The first point we set right here. Hold shift to make a straight line and click here on the left outside of the canvas. Moving up. This is a very quick step as you can see. Uh, on, we have to be at the height of the, of the rear. So we click around here. Perfect, and uh, move with shift again to the arches. So I'm going to explain to you very quick how you can uh, how you can make these lines actually work. You click here for example, and hold the left mouse button, and you drag. And you see you can make round, round shapes, so that's perfect. And then you click around here. Or if you have a different image, of course you have to, you have to try this a little bit. If, if I click too close to the other point, you will see that the radius of the corner will not be correctly. So you can fix that by pressing Alt on the square and click. Now you can make the line that will be straight and will not have the roundness from the point before. What you can also do, you can just you just pick a new point and drag and hold to create those round shapes again. And I just speed this up to uh, to go to the end. So in a bit so I'm back we just selected the entire car including the background and made it into a path you can find the paths on the right side at the same window as normally also the layer is being displayed so click on path and you can see it right over here Double click on work path and um, set a name. In this case, it's the car. What you're gonna do right now is press control and select the rectangle shape. Not here on the text, but on the rectangle. And you see that you made a selection. We go back to layers, press control and C on the background layer. Control plus C or command plus C and command V or control V. And now you can see what we have cut out from the uh, image. Um, what you have to do, just leave both layers displayed. Click on the eye to make it uh, come back again. And we select the top layer. Then you go to the left, to the bar, to the toolbar, and you select V, as you can see, it says the V, or you just click on it. Now you can move it around and you can do whatever you want. You can lower it by doing this. Or what you can also do is you can select the cursor uh, buttons to to lower it. If you press shift and the cursor tool, it will move a little bit further 
third time you click on a button. This is probably good because otherwise the uh, rear will be a little bit too much. So um, yeah, just now we have to finish up the um, all the rough edges and things like here from the layer beneath, from the background to uh, to make it look realistic. So click on the background layer uh, and select on this button to create a new layer, and that will. That new layer will be in the middle of both. You can also drag them around if you want, drag them to the top, but in this case, you have to be in the middle. You go to the brush tool and make the color go black, or you can just double click on here and make it black and create a small brush. The size to what well, depends on the picture that you have, and the hardness to zero. In this case, it's pretty good. So now I'm gonna select in this layer and make it black. So it's completely gone. In the rear, press control plus the plus button and make it the same on the rear, rear end of the car. Like that. So that's perfect now. It looks absolutely fine. Um, and the last thing that we have to do, we have to crop the image because of the top. It's uh, yeah, it's a little bit double. Uh, and here in the curtains and, and the floor is also looking weird. So, but we have the we have the layer of the background underneath, so we can just select the, the, the top layer of the the cutout that we've made before, and go to the eraser tool, and just make it a soft eraser size. You can also look and experiment with that again. The heart is set to zero. So now, if we just brush here, we see those lines of the tiles will start to start to fit a little better again it will, it will at least match like that over there and here as well so the last step will be cropping the image to get rid of this ugly piece on the top of the image uh, so select the crop tool very easy crop tool you see these lines are appearing and then uh, select it down so you crop it and this will be cut out and agree 